Troy Brake. He is either a cold-hearted killer who murdered a family just so he could rape a woman. Or he's a convenient suspect targeted by police only to solve a crime. Today, closing arguments in the case of Brake, who was accused in a gruesome quadruple slaying in Wright Township in Ottawa County. The accusation by the defense attorney that prosecutors had to come up with somebody and that Troy Brake was a convenient answer, an accusation that infuriated the prosecutor. The prosecution contends they have lots of evidence against Brake, first and foremost the shell casings that tie him to the scene of the crime. Today's testimony of a jail inmate that break killed for lust and the lies told by his girlfriend to allegedly cover for him. This is a planned execution of a family in Catherine Brown. As I said earlier, all were killed close to their bedrooms, indicating that murder was the first order of business. But the prof prosecutor's evidence is scant. It's unusually scant. It's predictably scant. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colger's been covering the trial every step of the way. He's been live, he's been uh, uh, on our Twitter, he's been covering it live. He's joining us now from Grand Haven. I have to ask you a couple of questions, Ken, especially about the defense today. How brief the defense's case was. Was that a big surprise to the courtroom? Yeah, we were rather surprised. Um, some of us were expecting Troy Brake to testify since he testified in his last trial. Obviously, that didn't go well in the last trial, but we expected more than just the three witnesses that he called. He called basically one witness after the prosecution wrapped up, and that was just Troy Brake's girlfriend, and that maybe went for a minute. And she had already been on the witness stand because the prosecution had had her on there as well. Correct. Yeah, basically she went on the stand today to talk a little about, about the cell phone towers. There was some discussion about cell phone towers and which towers may have been used when she was home or not. And it was a, a little bit confusing, but she was basically there to help clarify that. Can you describe the emotion in the courtroom? Was there emotion uh, once the closing arguments were made and uh, it was handed off to the jury? Well, you know, I think the prosecutor really tried to tug at the heartstrings of the jurors when he described who the different victims were and how they died. He said Charm was so well known she could have been the mayor of Conklin. And he went, she went, he went on to describe Tyler and Jeremy and also Catherine Brown. But there was also some heated exchanges over the defense claiming that the prosecutor was part of some conspiracy to go after Troy Brake. All right. They're going to continue deliberating, and we are going to continue keeping our crews in Grand Haven as long as it takes the jury to come back with that verdict. We will bring you coverage and reaction. When that verdict comes in, you will see that both on air and online. Brian?